Good evening, Shark Nation. Good evening, I am Principal Cummings, and I am humbled and honored on behalf of the faculty and staff to welcome you to Sebastian River High School's graduation ceremony for the class of 2023. This is a special day, and I am excited that you joined us to recognize and celebrate these exceptional graduates. I know this is a great time of joy and celebration. It's also a time for being serious and respectful. We want to give every graduate and their family the opportunity to hear their name being called. We ask that you celebrate, but refrain from using loud horns and noisemakers so that every graduate and their family can hear their name as it is called. I am sure that you can agree that together we will all make this an event that expresses the dignity that each one of our graduates deserves for years of hard work. At this time, would you please stand as the graduating class of 2023 enters the field.
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the presentation of colors by our Navy Junior ROTC and the play of our national anthem by the Sebastian River High School Band. Thank you. You may be seated at this time. <laughs> at this time, I would like to take an opportunity to introduce our stage guests and others. We would ask that you hold your applause until everyone is introduced, beginning with our school board members from District, District 1, Dr. Jean Pasca. District 2, Ms. Jacqueline Rosario. District 3, School Board Chair, Dr. Peggy Jones. District 4, and School Board Vice Chair, Mrs. Terry Berenborg. And District 5, Mr. Brian Barefoot. Also with us are members of the School District of Indian River County Executive Leadership Team. Superintendent of Schools, Dr. David K. Moore. Deputy Superintendent of School Operations and Human Capital, Mr. Scott Bass. Assistant Superintendent of Strategic Planning and Support Services, Mrs. Pamela Dampierre. Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction, Mrs. Kelly Basora. Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Ron Fagan. Assistant Superintendent of Student Affairs Advocacy and Access, Mr. Eric Seymour. Director of Advocacy and School Management, Ms. Beth Crisofoli, and the School District of Indian River County Public Information and Community Relations Officer, Mrs. Kristen Maddox. Also with us on stage are our Sebastian River High School Administration Team, Assistant Principals, Mr. James Timmer, Mr. Robert Riskin, Mr. Kevin Rembrimmer. Also, our senior class advisor, Mrs. Michelle Fennell, and our teacher of the year, Mrs. Emily Sequoy. <laughs> Lastly, we would like to pay special recognition to the staff members sitting amongst the students. Thank you, please give them all a round of applause. At this time, please help me welcome to the podium our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. David K. Moore. Good evening. Now, wait a minute, we're here to celebrate, so let's try that again. Good evening. All right. All right. Good evening to our school board members. Good evening to our distinguished platform guests, to our principal, our assistant principal. Good evening to our parents, our grandparents, our brothers, our sisters, our aunts, our uncles. But most importantly, good evening 
to the talented, to the distinguished, those who have persevered, those who are here today because we're only, our sole purpose is to celebrate you. Good evening to Sebastian Senior High School's graduating class of 2023. Today is your day, now is your moment. That's right. One moment realized in time today, but think about it. This is a moment you have been working on for 13 years. Think of the amount of time in your life story you have been working towards this goal. You started working on this goal and didn't even realize it was a goal. And I hope you realize that you're just not here because this is a rite of passage or this is the last activity of your senior year. You're here today because you've met the standard. You're here today because you've done the work. We are all here today to celebrate you. And if you had the opportunity to come to this stage, stand at this podium, speak into this mic, and tell your life story, what would your story be about? What words of wisdom and encouragement would you be able to provide to all of us who are here to celebrate everything you have accomplished? Respectfully, I don't know all of your stories, but I know there would be stories of great success. I know there would be stories of great accomplishments. And I also know there would be stories of having to face in my life true obstacles and true challenges. But despite those challenges and despite those obstacles, you are here today basking in your own success. But before you have the opportunity to come across this stage and have the great Principal Cummings put the diploma in your hand, I'd ask for you to reflect. Reflect on your life story, some of the characters that have been in that life story. Take time to think of the ones who wrote the first chapters in your life story. Wrote the chapters before you can actually author them yourselves. Those who provided for you, those that cared for you, those that clothed you, encouraged you, disciplined you, sacrificed themselves so you can be here today. Help me in honoring and celebrating the roles that your parents and your guardians have played in your life story to this point. Give it up for your parents, students. <laughs> Take time to remember those who you are sitting next to right now. Think of all of the life first that you've had and how many of those first you all have experienced together. Whether it's walking into kindergarten, whether it's going to sit at that cafeteria table all nervous trying to make or meet your new best friend, whether it's taking this field to play in your very first game, to run this track, to perform in the performing arts stadium, to march in the band. Think of all of the things that you all have done together and think of the impact you collectively have had on each other. You all are going to go out and celebrate tonight. You're, you're going to be safe, but you're going to celebrate. But take time to acknowledge the roles and support you all have provided each other. Take time to acknowledge and find those who stood in front of the classroom, those who got you to school on time and got you back home on time, those that were your club sponsors, those that were your coaches, those that directed the band, this is not a sales pitch, but being an educator is a great way to spend a life. And we are so thankful and proud of what you all have accomplished today. Find them if you have not done so already, and thank them for the roles that they have played in your life. And as you go and tell great stories, know that you can. Know that you have the skills and the ability to go and tell great stories. And as you write the next chapters in your life, write chapters in that story to ensure that no family ever has to lose someone because of cancer. Write chapters in your life story that ensures we as a nation never have to face another pandemic. Write chapters in your life stories. Be the generation that says enough's enough. We live in the greatest nation in the world and we're gonna pull our nation together. You are prepared to go and tell these great stories. And as you tell them no, there will, as you go and tell them no, there will be times in which you will fail and you will fall short. And I would encourage you to embrace that every single time as failure is one of life's great opportunities to learn. 
you are ready to go in the next chapters of your life. Seniors, congratulations, outstanding work. Go and tell great stories. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Moore, for your leadership, commitment to excellence, and your continued support of Sebastian River High School. Please give him another round of applause. At this time, please help me welcome to the stage Mr. Robert Riskin, Assistant Principal, for the introduction of our speakers. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty members, proud parents, and fellow graduates, I stand before you today with great pleasure and excitement to announce the valedictorian and salutatorian for this year's graduating class. The salutatorian is an exceptional student who has consistently demonstrated an unwavering commitment to academic excellence. This individual has not only excelled in their studies, but also has exhibited remarkable leadership skills, perseverance, and a genuine passion for learning. It is with great pride that I reveal the name of our salutatorian for this graduating class. Please join me in congratulating Ranger Beach. Hold on. Throughout his high school journey, Ranger has consistently displayed an exceptional level of dedication, intellect, and a thirst for knowledge. He has achieved remarkable grades in a rigorous course load, consistently placing himself among the top students in the class. Beyond the classroom, Ranger is actively engaged in various extracurricular activities, showcasing his well-rounded nature and commitment to personal growth. Whether it was being an accomplished athlete, class president, or national merit scholar, Ranger has continuously demonstrated remarkable talent, enthusiasm, and dedication. Not only is he an academic powerhouse, but he's also positively impacted the lives of his peers and the wider school community. His compassionate and helpful nature has made him a role model for others to emulate. Ranger, please step forward to receive the recognition you so richly deserve as the salutatorian of the 2023 graduating class. Thank you, Mr. Riskin, for that wonderful introduction. Trust me, I'm not that great. <laughs> All right, folks, here we are, the night of graduation. I'll be honest, I've been dreading this speech for a long time, but now that it's here, it's a lot worse than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> In all seriousness, I feel pretty ridiculous giving a speech up here, so I'm just gonna try and say what I think should be said. Firstly, congratulations, guys, we made it. I know everyone says high school flies by and it's the fastest four years of your life, but I don't think this day could have come any sooner. With that being said, there are a few points I'd like to hit on. First of all, tonight, when your moms, your dads, your aunties, your uncles, your grandmas, whoever, is trying to get some pictures, don't hassle them. This is a really special moment for you all, and it's a really special moment for everyone that got you here. <laughs> So smile, bite your tongue, and tell them you love them. Try not to get too stressed about this, that, and the other. This is your night. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Woo! It's a lot scarier up here, trust me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Take some time to live in the moment. I've been doing a lot of thinking recently about life. What am I going to major in? Where am I gonna go to college? How am I gonna make money? Didn't I just get to high school a couple months ago? Where has all the time gone? I have a feeling that time's only gonna start moving faster and faster. So for the sake of our childhoods that ends tonight, enjoy the night. Thirdly, shout out to my wonderful family. Mom. I know that it hasn't been easy for us, but you kept us together throughout all these years, and I know I probably don't even know the half of it. Even though you get on my nerves, <laughs> I know that without your unconditional love and support, I would have never made it to this stage. Dad, thank you for always being there for me and knowing just what to say. 
I want you to know that no matter how mad I ever get at you, you're always going to be my superhero. Hunter, I'm really going to miss sitting down in front of the TV and watching you play video games and explaining everything to me. I know you will, but when I'm off at college, please take care of Tonto. Zoe, you will always be my best friend, and I will always have your support. Mom, Dad, Hunter, Zoe, I love you all, and I am so proud to be your son and brother. <laughs> Lastly, to all of my friends, you guys have made high school such a wonderful experience. You guys have been so integral to my well-being, and I feel like the love and we have for each other is unmatched. Thanks for letting me crash at your places when I needed to. Thanks for listening to all my problems. Thanks for getting into trouble with me, and thank you for letting me be a part of your lives. I guess this is the last time you guys are ever gonna be forced to hear me speak again. And I know you're gonna miss my voice, but it's been real, guys. Go Sharks. Graduation is a momentous occasion, a culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and relentless pursuit of knowledge. It is a day when we celebrate the achievements of our extraordinary students and bid farewell to their high school journey. Within this remarkable group of graduates, there is one individual who has distinguished themselves in an exceptional manner. This student has not only excelled academically, but has also demonstrated outstanding leadership, remar remarkable character, and an unwavering commitment to excellence. The valedictorian of the class of 2023 is someone who has consistently gone above and beyond expectations, surpassing all benchmarks with unmatched determination and intellectual prowess. Their academic record is unparalleled, showcasing a relentless pursuit of knowledge across various disciplines. Beyond the classroom, this student has been actively engaged in extracurricular activities, taking on leadership roles, and making a positive impact on the school community as a National Merit Scholar, member of the National Honor Society, and member of our prestigious IB program. He also plans on attending the University of Florida and earning a degree in biology. The valedictorian we honor today is not only an academic achiever, but a true role model, embodying the core values and principles that our school stands for. It is with great pride and pleasure that I announce the valedictorian of the class of 2023, Kenyon Huchel. Hey everybody, I'm gonna keep this nice and short so that we all have plenty of time to enjoy ourselves afterwards. But the first thing I wanna say is just congratulations to everybody. So how about we give ourselves another round of applause. I feel like we should all just take a minute and just reflect on this tremendous accomplishment. All the commitment and dedication that we have made for ourselves that has brought us here tonight. To be honest, it doesn't even feel real yet that we're actually graduating. For almost 13 years, we've been working towards this goal, and finally tonight, we can say that it's here. And that is something that each and every one of us should be immensely proud of. By being here tonight, we have proved not only to our friends, families, and teachers, but most importantly, to ourselves, that we can accomplish whatever we put our minds to. I think it's important to remember that this is an accomplishment that we could not have done alone. Everyone here has gotten support from someone, whether it's their moms, dads, friends, teachers, coaches, whoever. And I think that tonight, we should thank whoever those people are for pushing us to be our best and allowing us to be here tonight. Whether some of us plan to attend a university, <laughs> trade school, or begin working right after high school, tonight is the beginning of a new chapter in our lives. I know we're all definitely ready to get out of here, but I think we ought to try and cherish these final moments because once it's over, I'm sure we're gonna miss it. It feels like just last week, we were walking in here as freshmen, and tonight, we're gonna walk across the stage. I know that in those four years, I've made friendships that are going to last a lifetime, and I'm sure that many of you have too. So I encourage you all that after tonight, as we begin to go down our separate paths in life, that we do what's necessary to keep those friendships alive. That we send a text every now and then, that we make a call to check in, 
and that we do whatever is needed to keep those true, true friends a part of our life. I feel like this goes for everyone, but I know that without my friends, I would not be the person I am today. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And of course, oh, well, of course, I have to thank my family, wherever they are out there. I love you guys so much. And you guys have been supporting me every step of the way. And my mom, without her unconditional love and care for me, I would not have been here tonight. And my dad, he's always been there by my side supporting me. And my little brother, he's my best friend. And thank you for, you know, putting up with me after all these years. And thank you to all my extended family and everyone else out here who's supporting me tonight. So with that said, just one last time, congratulations for pushing through it and making it here to tonight. So I say let's have fun, make this a night to remember. Thank you. Thank you, Kenyon and Ranger, for your leadership and the example you have set for your peers and underclassmen here at Sebastian River High School. Everyone, please give them another round of applause. <laughs> to my seniors, your graduation today is a time to celebrate your success in preparation for the opportunities and challenges of the future. Graduation day is a big achievement an accomplishment for everyone. It represents the culmination of a journey and the attainment of a goal that started 13 years ago. But today, I challenge each of you as you begin a new chapter in your life, a new journey, a new goal to attain. I challenge you as you leave us and go into your future, I challenge each of you to find your purpose in life. I challenge you to find your why. Finding your why is critical. It's the ability to connect the dots between what you do each and every day and a higher purpose. It's something that goes beyond just going to college. It's more than just showing up and doing a job every day. Our why and our purpose is what drives us, it inspires others and allows us to persevere in those most difficult moments. To put it simply, when you find your why, you love what you do. When you love what you do, you not only make an impact on you, but the impact is felt amongst your family, your friends, and the world around you. So today, allow me to leave you with a few quick points that will help you find your why, your purpose. First, develop a growth mindset. Having a growth mindset is linked directly to having a sense of purpose. Constantly growing and becoming a better version of yourself helps you identify your purpose and commitment to pursuing it. Developing a growth mindset allows you to embrace life's challenges as opportunities. It allows us to persevere in the spite of our failures. And it helps us receive feedback and constructive criticism as building blocks and stepping stones on the path to success. Remember, we're not all born with a fixed amount of resilience like a muscle. You can build it, draw on it when you need it. And in that process, you will figure out who you really are and you just might become the best version of yourself. Secondly, turn your pain into purpose. We all face struggles in life. Overcoming these challenges shapes who we become and gives us a unique strength and perspective. Identify what your pain is and acknowledge your vulnerability. Don't hide it. How you transform your pain into your purpose is understanding that we cannot change the things that have happened to us, but we can dictate how we respond to them. I would love to stand here tonight and believe that all of you will have a perfect life, but the reality is that some of you will go through a difficult period in life. Some of you will experience unexpected loss. Some of you will not get that needed promotion. Some of you will experience the pains of life and that is something that I nor your family nor wealth can shield you from. But how you respond when you, your back is against the wall, when the world around you is chaotic, when your best friend is nowhere to be found, how you respond to your pain can bring you strength and wisdom that will not only help you, but it will help others. Remember, 
Many people before you and I have overcome life's challenges and turned their pain into purpose and found ways to touch others' lives. Third, learn to give back. Giving back can enhance your sense of meaning and purpose in life. This means that when we help others, we also help ourselves. Spending time enriching the community is a great way to broaden our perception and perspectives of the world. By immersing ourselves in a community and surrounding ourselves with people who are dedicated to bettering the world, we all learn so much about how the world works. We gain a unique sense of purpose by serving those around us, one which often manifests in other areas of our life. Look for ways to be of service and give back. Fourth, spend time with people who inspire you. Motivational speaker John Ross said, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If you spend time with people who are positive and purpose-driven, they're likely to inspire you to have the same mindset. You can even discover your purpose through them. Look beyond your colleagues and family members and ask yourself who you choose to spend your time with. Evaluate those relationships and make sure you surround yourself with positive people who lift you up and push you toward your goals and your dreams. Lastly, understand how blessed you are just to be you. Allow me to sum this point up in this way. One day I was listening to a podcast and a gentleman summed up our uniqueness in this manner. There have been about 100 billion people who have ever lived. Now, when you think about that, let me ask you this. Do you know how many people can exist? Now, I'm not a mathematical genius. I typically leave that up to Mr. Riskin and the math department. But nevertheless, when you take a look at the genes and you find out how many combinations of genes can make an authentic human, I believe there are over 8 million possible combinations of 23 chromosome pairs, and each chromosome pair contains dozens to thousands of different genes. So that po total possible combination of genes to make an authentic human is far above 70 trillion. Now that number is stupendously larger than 100 billion. What this means is you are here against stupendous odds. We are breathing air, observing sunsets, gazing into the night sky. You are graduating. Most people who could exist based on the number of gene combinations will never experience that because the number of people who could exist mathematically will never exist. That tells me right there that you are as special of a person as anybody could ever imagine. And this is the biggest factor in finding your why and your purpose. It's understanding that you are as unique and authentic as your fingerprint. There is no one like you. There will never be another you. So I challenge you today to find your why, develop your purpose. You have a particular set of talents, experiences, skill sets, and interests that are capable of changing our world. Whatever your purpose is, whatever your why is, I believe we have individuals sitting amongst you tonight who will make our world a better place. And that gives me hope, and that confirms my why, because it's you. Your purpose. You are my purpose. You are our purpose. You're sitting here tonight. You are our why. For tonight, a new journey will begin for you. So I say, keep that growth mindset. Turn that pain into purpose. Learn to give back. Spend time with those who inspire you and love the heck out of yourself for being you and only you. Keep pushing towards your dreams and your goals. Reach for the stars and start to shine. Because when you shine, we all shine. Finally, to the class of 2023, on behalf of Sebastian River High School, it is my great pleasure to congratulate you. We wish you the best as you embrace the future. And I would like to say thank you for a fantastic final year of learning. 
here at Sebastian River High School, where it's our mission to ensure you receive the highest quality of instruction daily and that you achieve to your highest potential. And just in case someone hasn't told you this today, and just in case you happen to wake up in the morning a few weeks, maybe a month is going by, but just in case you feel that life has abandoned you and no one has told you lately, please know that we love you. Take care and always remember, you can't hide that sharp pride. Congratulations. Ranger, I don't care what they say, it is harder than they think. All right, before I invite Mr. Van Bremer and Mr. Timmer to the podium for the graduation roll call, there are two recognitions that I would like to make. On October 4th, 2020, Jake Beecher, a classmate of the graduating class of 2023, was involved in an accident that tragically took his life. Tonight, his classmates have remembered him by placing his football jersey and a balloon at his seat. And we, as Shark Nation, honor him by presenting his family with his high school diploma. Accepting his diploma on behalf of the family will be his brother, Dylan Beecher. Come on and give the Beechers another round of applause. Also tonight, we would like to specifically honor nine students who will be leaving directly from high school and enlisting with the United States Armed Forces. Students, when you hear your name called, please stand up and remain standing. We ask everyone to hold your applause until all names have been called. Going to the Navy, Sebastian Kepke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Laramar Madeira. Jeffrey Sturgill. Going to the Army, Joseph Hughes. Dylan Mazzoli. Warren Powell. Going to the Marine Corps, Leonardo, Leonardo Estrada. And lastly, but certainly not least, with an appointment to the United States Naval Academy, Lawrence Kim. <laughs> Students, thank you for answering the call to serve your country. This is no easy decision and one that we all value as members of our proud country. Thank you, Godspeed. Please give them another round of applause. Just a reminder to please limit the use of noisemakers so that all families may clearly hear the name of their graduate as it is announced. Kenyon Pichel. 
Ranger Beach. Nicholas Rutledge the third. Maya Hayworth. Lana Kish. Christopher Cumming. Obed Philippe. Eddie Wade. Briny Waragoda. Jorge Aguilar. Salima Ahmad. Cassandra Albano. Margaret Alexandre. Emmanuel Allen. Logan Allison Wesling. Aaron Almanza. Israel Almanza. Kevin Alonzo. Braselli Ambrise. Isaac Anderson. Isaiah Anderson. Gerardo Andrade. Liz Armenta. Marlon Badenhop. Ashley Bailey. Derek Ballin. Kaylee Ballou. Jacob Banks. Brock Barron. Hannah Barrows. Matthew Batista. James Bata. Azaria Battle. Emily Beck. Osiel Badola. Leonardo Benitez. Matthew Began. Malia Benefif. Kaliria Bishop. Charlotte Black. Damian Blades. Keegan Bloom. Marissa Borner Stewart. Nathan Bullerman. Madeline Bashirs. Michael Baki. Aiden Boudreau. Ethan Bordet. Destiny Bradfield. Joseph Brandefine. Caitlin Braun. Sydney Brody. Ryan Brognano. Caden Brumall. Laney Brown. Lewis Brown, the fourth. Timothy Brumley. 
Charlie Brust. Gabriel Burchett. Jacob Burdett. Matthew Buxton. Aaron Byrne. Caleb Kane. Ethan Camillo. Jacob Campbell. Elena Cano. Madison Carlson. Isabella Castro. Magali Castro. Miriam Castro. Zachary Caswell. Olivia Catropa. Daniel Sendejas. Giselle Serda. Sidaria Cheney. Mark Chestnut. Michael Chernobyl Price. Hunter Clark. Luke Clearwater. Ian Cloran. Bailey Cluck. Jaden Coleman. Wyatt Collins. Samuel Comella. Deborah Koch. Juliana Cotard. Anna Cruz. Brian Cruz. Marcelino Cuevas. Yadira Cuevas. Brianna Cummins. Abigail Cunningham. Tamaya Curtis. Shayna Davis. Asher Dawson. Andrea Dellinger. Thomas Delstanch. Ava DePiri. Desenia Diaz. Cortland Dix. Madison Dixon. Kaylee DeMonico. Owen Doyle. Lilia Duran. Juan Duran Soto. Ryan Eaton. Shiloh Item. Isabella Elkins. Alicia Ellison. Julia Engel. Bryce Engel. Jonisha Aristine. Christopher Espinoza. Maria Espinoza. Leonardo Estrada. Caitlin Etienne. Edigent Exodus. 
Anthony Ferrugio. Ella Faulkner. Devin Felton. Milani Figueroa. Kalani Fleck. Jason Flores. Kalish Mary Flores. Kevin Flores. Emma Ford. Gavin Ford. Mariah Franklin. Christopher Freeman. James Fucci. Dominic Fullington the third or second. Sorry, Dominic. <laughs> Raina Gage. Gabriela Gallegos. Abigail Gomez. Andy Gomez. Marlon Gomez. Yasmin Garignani, Andre Garcia, Daniela Garcia, David Garcia, Nathaniel Gurner, James Garrity. Anna Gilge Gilgis. Kelvin Goblin III. Mariah Golfin. Mauricio Gomez. Sarah Gomez. Nicholas Gonzalez. Ashley Gonzalez. Michaela Goodhand. Elizabeth Goodwin. Charlesia Granger. Blake Gregory. Morgan Griffiths. Jalissa Guzman. Christopher Harris. Tanner Hart. Sawyer Held. Kaylee Hellyer. Leanne Helpling. Arabella Hepler. Miguel Hernandez. Vanessa Hernandez. Josendi Hernandez. Joanna Hernandez Coelho. Rebecca Herrera. Haley Higgins. Alexis Hill. Cadence Hill. Javon Hodge. Kicks Michael Hofer. <laughs> Jade Hollis Romanowitz. <laughs> Bailey Hooker. 
Brendan Hooker. Austin Howell. James Howell. Nico Huff. Joseph Hughes. Alan Hulse III. Brian Islas. Kalina Jackson. Calvin Jacobson. Jocelyn Geronimo. Mariana Jimenez. Amante Johnson. Chauncey Johnson. Deshaya Jones. Tyler Jones the second. Colleen Jordan. Demarcus Jordan. Austin Joseph. Rachel Joyner. Recia Juarez. Janielle Kahn. Desiree Katzor. Alasia Kierce. Tabitha Keller. Evan Kicker. Joseph Kidder. Lawrence Kim. Miley Kincaid. Kylie Knudsen. Sebastian Kepke. Kenny LeBlanc. Mitchell Ledford. Cheyenne Lepley. Ethan Lewis. Angel Leitner. Bryce Lindstad. Jacob Little. Cordesia Lockett. I got this, man. I got this. Avery Lukiao. Caden Long. Matthew Frank Long. <laughs> Bailey Loudermilk. You, Nelly Luna Andrade. Damaris Macias. Mark Anthony Macias Rojas. Morgan Mackey. Haley McCleary. Jose Lewis McLennan. Larimar Madeira. Daniel Magana. Maribel Maldonado. Omar Maldonado. Juan Malta Rodriguez. Isabella Mangus. Marinci Marceleno. Amaya Marinez Tourette. 
Brian Marrero. Fallon Martin. Nick Martinez. Michael Martinez Mejia. Anthony Majeri. Dylan Mazzoli. Colin McAdams. Patrick McBride. Mia McCormick. Madeline McCoy. Charlesia McIntosh. Emmanuel McKenzie. Jada McKenzie. Jaden McNett. Kyle Medina. Steven Meeks. Andres Mendez Jr. Javier Marinos. Kylie Mesmer. Devin Miller. Tucker Miller. Daisy Mojica. Oscar Mojica. Jayliani. Malena Arroyo. Deontay Moore. Carissa Morales. Tess Mum. Diego Murillo. Christopher Muth. Mia Muth. Caitlin Napo. Monica Naranjo. Viviana Naranjo. Candace Nathaniel. Sarai Navarrete. Alicia Newman. Joshua Neverez. Lillian Nilsson. Nico Nocera. Thomas Oborn. Jose Ojeda Jr. Christian Olivo. Margaret O'Neill. Joseph Ornelas. Hannah Osteen. Fabiola Ovalle. Anthony Padilla. Gabriela Pagan. Ration Joy Padangdanan. Jonathan Pallon. Ansley Palmer. Jason Palmer. Anahi Parga. Gina Parker. 
Piper Patterson. Carly Patzlaff. Ashley Paul. Donald Poqueros. Callum Pelletier. Daniel Pena. Noe Pena. Alexis Pena Perez. Brandon Penalosa. Adrian Perez. Alexander Perez. Leslie Perez. Kelsey Piscina. Jada Phillips. Sonia Pico Gutierrez. Ella Powell. Warren Powell the fourth. Genevieve Presti. Marissa Primavera. Justin Purvis. Anthony Quince. Aiden Raddick. Jordan Raddick. Melanie Rainieri. David Ramirez Jr. Jesus Ramirez. Rogelio Ramirez Jr. Briseli Ramos. Jacqueline Ramos. Jonathan Ramos. Jorge Ramos. Maisie Ramos. Christian Rangel. Morgan Ransom. Magali Rea. Suzette Rea. Lily Riley. Natalie Ribeiro. Kira Star Richardson. Eric Riddout. Renee Ringer. ABL Rios. Gianna Rocco. Shaylin Rodriguez. Nicole Rodriguez. Andrew Rodriguez. Logan Romer. Marina Rohr. Alan Burr Rojas. Abigail Roman. Maria Roman Bustamante. Alicia Romero. 
Annalie Romero. <laughs> Selena Romero. Kaylee Rompot. Connor Ross. Toriana Ross. Kendall Rossi. Jillian Rossoni. Abigail Roof. Christopher Plata. Anna Rumenos Hernandez. Wyatt Russell. Alex Sabino. Victor Salas. Irma Sanchez. Santino Sanchez. Emily Sandoval. Caden Santini. Edward Santos. Marlon Santoya. Eric Santoya Pantoja. Logan Schaffner. Sierra Schweinhard. Jacoby Scott. Ashley Seaver. Justice Schaefer. Jordan Shear. Gabriel Shimo. Cody Shoemaker. Kara Simmons Fredette. Karnjot Singh. Devin Slapikas. Kentoria Smith. Morgan Smith. Felix Solis Jr. Adonis Sotolongo. Daviana Sprague Wall. Kaylee Steven. Ty Stinson. Jeffrey Sturgill. Jorge Suarez. Maddie Tatro. Calissa Titas. Kyler Thomas. Alyssa Thompson. Nan Thong. Robert Timmerman. Haley Timmons. Brianna Torres. Kayla Trask. RJ Trailer. Willis Janaris Tumblin Jr. Alfredo Valencia. Callie Valio. James Vanderkamp. Guadalupe Vargas. 
Sebastian Vargas. Derek Vasquez. Angel Vasquez. Alicia Vecchioni. Pilar Velasquez. Chris Venazio. Lizette Vences. Adelaida Vieira. Esteban Vieira. Dylan Voorhees. Hiram Wadsworth. Kyle Walker. Victoria Werberger. Desiree White. Aaliyah Young. Hannah Widman. Grace Wild. Angel Wilkinson. Spencer Wilson. July Wise. Benjamin Wood. Anna Woods. Connor Wonderlick. Jimena Zamaripa. Andrea Zamora. Itzel Zamora. Elizabeth Zulo. Benjamin Zulecki. Dr. Moore, Dr. Jones, would you please join me at the podium for the turning of the tassels. Graduates, please stand. Dr. Moore and Dr. Jones, I attest that the students presented as the class of 2023 have met all of the state of Florida graduation requirements and all of the requirements of Indian River County, and I recommend them to you. Students, with the turning of your tassel from right to left, I now pronounce you 2023 graduates of Sebastian River High School. Parents, you are invited to the field to meet your...